Welcome to the Experience and Next Podcast, episode number 37. Life is full of experiences, and it's good you learn from the experience of others. The title of this episode is How to Fortify Yourself with Knowledge and Wisdom to Achieve Financial Freedom. In this episode, you will learn what you should do day to day to reach the highest level of self-development and achieve financial freedom. I'm Paul Uduk, the creator of Book Writing Clinic and IBMC, where I show aspiring and experienced authors and online entrepreneurs how to create intellectual property and succeed online at scale. I'm also the creator of Okna, a Facebook group with over 13,500 members from all over the world. Okna stands for Online Course Creators Community for newbies and advanced beginners. Let's roll. The terms self-help, personal development, personal improvement, personal growth, self-improvement, and information marketing are often used interchangeably. The industry is increasingly referred to as the expert industry in recent times because according to Brendan Burchard, it's where experts operate. While self-help also used without hyphen is now viewed as derogatory because of the assortment of snake oil salesmen, call them charlatans, that prowl about online and offline, seeking who to unleash their ways and cures. It was the term first used to describe the industry and was coined by a Scottish doctor, Samuel Smiles, in 1859. However, according to sacramentochiropractic.com, the origins of self-help date back to the book The Constitution of Man, written by a Victorian phrenologist, George Combe, in 1828. It was followed by Ralph Waldo Emerson's Compensation in 1841. The personal development industry was estimated at $13.4 billion in the USA alone in 2024 and globally projected to grow to $18.6 billion by the year 2032. Writing in brandminds.ro and quoting Niels Eich, a psychologist, Julia Christina Utah stated, Self-improvement is about consciously identifying and developing one or more facets of your life. From the perspective of of an entrepreneur, self-improvement will often entail some sort of mental training, but can mean anything from practicing stress management to valuable goal setting. Professionals are often keen to learn things like time management techniques and increasing productivity without compromising mental well-being. According to brandminds.ro, the self-improvement market is wide and encompasses a large variety of products and services which range from books, ebooks, online courses, coaching programs, webinars, academies, universities, masterminds, master classes, summits, conferences, mobile apps, etc. Taking the digital angle, Hazel Davi, a guest blogger at virgin.com, quoted various sources and research findings as pointing to the fact that compared to other age groups, 
millennials are the most driven to engage in self-development. Writing under the title, What Does Self-Improvement Look Like in the Digital Age? She asserted, Millennials love self-improvement, whether it's learning how to be an inspirational leader, to change maker, coding for beginners, or leaning in, they seemingly can't get enough of it. Since its creation in 1859, the industry has become unstoppable, with thousands of gurus peddling their ways to whoever cares to read, listen, view, try, and buy. When asked whether he was a guru, Peter Drogas had said the term charlatan was too difficult to pronounce, so someone invented the word guru. In that regard, marketresearch.com has this to say. Consumers are realizing that there are so many so-called experts now peddling a variety of online masterminds, academies, universities, and coaching services. Too many, in fact. As a result, gurus are trying to figure out how to cut through the clutter while consumers are trying to identify legitimate competent experts. According to Sacra sacramentochiropractic.com, September is National Self-Improvement Month in the U.S. According to the blog, it's a time to reflect upon your life, set new goals, and take strides to make personal changes in order to achieve the life you truly wish. The U.S. is unique in this regard as the only country I know of with a full month set aside for self-improvement. Any wonder the U.S. is the global center of gravity for self-development? The industry was estimated by various sources according to web, webwire.com, custom marketing insights, block market research to be worth between 11.3 billion and 13.4 billion in the USA in 2023, and is estimated to reach 18.19 billion by 2032. A little bit contradiction from this previous uh, data. The global personal development market size was estimated at US dollars 43.77 billion in 2022 global and is, is anticipated to grow at, at a compounded annual growth rate of 5.5 from 2023 to 2030, a huge growth rate. So you better jump in. What I wrote about self-help in 2015, I've always been fascinated with the self-help industry since I stumbled on Brian Tracy's motivational tips years back. At about the same time, I stumbled on J. Abraham's 12 Pillars of Business Success. That led me to Success Magazine and later Excellence Magazine. And I later became a huge fan of Tony Robbins, whose book on limited power and Awaken the Giant Within, I devoured. That was long before the internet. Today, the internet has put self-help in everybody's palm. In 2015, I wrote a blog post on the subject for my fans, and it was later published in ezinearticles.com. It was entitled, Does Attitude Really Determine Altitude? You can listen to the episode in my Spotify channel or watch in my YouTube channel. Does attitude really determine altitude? Go to 
my Spotify channel and, and, look, and listen to it. Which are the most lucrative segments of the self-help industry? The self-help industry evo evo evolves and evolving technologically. While radio, TV, newspapers, and magazines dominated in the 50s and 80s, today, the internet holds sway with di digitally delivered products in apps, MP3s, MP4s, videos via YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia, and podcasts dominate. Podcasts like the Tim Ferriss Show, the James Altuch Altucher Show, and Pat Flynn's SPI, Smart Passive Income Show, attract up to 100 million listeners monthly. Oprah in, is in a special class of her own with own OWN, Oprah Winfrey Network, and the Oprah Winfrey Show attracting millions worldwide. Sometimes it's easy to mix up the medium, channel, or technology with the market verticals. So it's important to note that technology is just a medium, a channel, a mediator, or an enabler. For emphasis, for instance, if I train you on how to write a book face-to-face -face in the classroom or train you in the form of a webinar using a platform such as a webinar jam, am I a trainer or a podcaster? In all, the industry is categorized differently by different writers, depending on where they come from, whether they are media practitioners, industry experts, or technologists. With that in mind, let's review some market classifications. Marketresearch.com identifies the following as the top nine market segments in the self-improvement industry. Number one, informations. Two, audiobooks. Three, self-improvement books. Four, self-improvement apps. Five, personal coaching. Six, motivational speakers. Seven, weight loss programs. Eight, public seminars. And nine, holistic institutes and training companies. The motivational in speaking industry is in a class of its own with the living and long gone legends like Les Brown, Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, Tony Robbins, and Dale Carnegie, some of the most celebrated. To take your game to the next level, I advise you to grab my book, The Celebrity Speaker, and read my blog posts such as The Little Known Secrets of the World's Greatest Speakers and how you can join their ranks. Another one is how to make seven figures in the speaking and training industry. And finally, the, sub, the top seven mistakes amateur motivational speakers make. One of the most prolific online trainers in the world today is Brendan Burchard, with over six million Facebook and YouTube followers and subscribers combined. The founder of the expat industry association now defunct author of five books including the charge the millionaire messenger the motivation manifesto he has been endorsed by oprah the dalai lama lady cnn's legendary anchor larry king oprah.com refers to brendan butchard as one of the most successful online trainers in history in his The Millionaire Messenger, Brendan lists the top 10 fastest growing segments of the expat industry as follows. One, motivation advice. Two, leadership advice. Three, financial advice. Four, business advice. Five, marketing advice. Six, relationship advice. Seven, spiritual advice. Eight, style advice. Nine, productivity advice. And 10, health advice including weight loss. According to the same company, sacramentochiropractic.com, webinars, teleseminars, and other virtual communications methods are the fast 
are fast replacing face-to-face -face training. The fastest growing segments of the self-improvement seminar industry, it assets are virtual seminars, virtual events, and virtual coaching. Other than relationships, the most common goals that people want to achieve through self-help books, according to the same Sacramento chiropractic.com are one increasing happiness two weight loss three success four money and five spirituality the most lucrative segments of the self help industry pre-covid 19 according to marketresearch.com as quoted in brandminds.ro the various markets related to the self-improvement industry are how much they are worth were as follows. Self-help audiobooks, $769 million. Self-improvement books, $800 million. Self-improvement apps, $27 million. Personal coaching services, $1 billion in the USA alone. And motivational speakers, one billion per year. According to Grand View Research, the top growth areas post-COVID-19 are books, e-platforms, I mean like Zoom, personal coaching and training, workshops and seminars. How you can join the self-improvement industry? According to Brendan Butchard's Millionaire Messenger, you can share your expertise in seven dimensions and get paid as an author, trainer, speaker, coach, consultant, seminar leader, and information marketer. Your book can provide a launch or the launching pad for your expert empire as experienced by the following gurus illustrate. From being virtual unknowns, books helped catapult the following experts to start up. Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen, Chicken Soup for the Soul, J. Conrad Livingston, Gorilla Marketing, Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and Tony Robbins, Unlimited Power. With your book, you can start training based on the ideas in it, then start speaking, which could lead to coaching, consulting, seminars, and information products. Personally, my Bridges to the Customer's Heart, a book on customer service, now dubbed the Customer Service Bible, has opened doors to Fortune 500 companies and to some of the largest corporations and the most respected CEOs and HRDs in Nigeria. This is what the late J. Conrad Levinson said. Someone once asked me how much I made from my first guerrilla marketing book. The answer I gave was $10 million. The book itself only paid me 35 million, I mean 35,000 Naira in royalties. But the speaking engagements, spin-off books, newsletters, columns, boot camps, consulting, and wide open doors resulted in the remaining $9,965,000. 9, the three pillars of the expat, the three pillars of expat, Brendan Bochart, in his Millionaire Messenger, identified three pillars of expertise. Though the three overlap and each drives and reinforces the other, without going into details, here are there. Number one, the results expert. Number two, research experts. Number three, the role model. The top five reasons you should take a claim in the expert industry. According to Brendan, in the same Millionaire Messenger, 
the top five reasons you should stake a claim in the self-improvement industry are one your work is based entirely on your passion and knowledge two your work activity center on relating and creating three you work anywhere anytime starting now four you do not need a large team and five financial income is disproportionate to any other industry the 10 steps to expert empire you may not be able to create the next facebook twitter now called x or instagram just yet but if you want an empire that can generate for you 10 million dollars within 10 years if you really work hard and follow the footsteps of the authentic gurus you will not be wrong if you emulate brendan butchard's guidelines here are the 10 steps that i call the foundational principles for creating an expert empire as brendan lays out in the millionaire messenger number one step one claim and master your topic step two pick your audience step three discover your audience problems step four define your story step five create a solution step six put up a website step seven maintain your products and i mean campaign your products and programs step eight post free content step nine get promotional partners and step 10 repeat and build the business based on distinction excellence and service this may sound too good to be true just 10 simple steps and you are a millionaire you are quite right to be skeptical and even cynical and dismiss the whole notion with the wave of your hand but listen carefully and listen hard while before it took donkey years to build a solid empire as tony robbins has done thanks to the internet you can build your empire today within the twinkling of an eye while it took tony robbins up to 30 years to amass his 600 million dollars in net worth it took the online business strategy guru Rami Sethi, just 15 years to build his empire, now estimated at $25 million. Can you guess where his empire will be in the next 15 years? Tim Ferriss, whose empire is worth $50 million, built his within 10 years. His first mega successful, successful book, The 4-Hour Work Week, was released in 2007. 2007 he released the four hour body and the four hour chef in quick succession based i mean before you could write any rebuter against his four hour claims he released the tools of titans and the tribe of mentors and the team ferris show as at 2019 the team ferris show has been downloaded 400 plus million times the tim ferris tim ferris as i stated earlier is worth 50 million dollars and clocked 46 in 2020 today he has added four more years he's 50. another mugu james altuche is in a class of his own he is a contrarian with three iconic books, Choose Yourself, Reinvent Yourself, and The Power of No. His estimated net worth is also $50 million. While he has come a long way as a venture capitalist, it took him less than 10 years to skyrocket his profile to the stratosphere. His The James Altucher Show started in 2015 and as of today 
has had over 50 million downloads. So, a good book worth reading may be all you need to kickstart your empire, as the late J. Conrad Livingston did with his guerrilla marketing. Pausing for a small advert. Hi, I'm Paul Luduk. After 25 years, over 25 years in the banking industry, I said goodbye to banking and founded Vision and Talent Training Group and began a new career as a training consultant in 2010, the end of 2010, really. Today, we work with some of the Nigeria's biggest financial institutions, manufacturing companies, and oil and gas companies, some of them Fortune 500 companies. In 2015, I founded Book Writing Clinic, BWC, to help aspiring and established authors tell their stories to the world and make their dreams of becoming published authors a reality. In 2020, thanks to COVID, I pivoted online and founded IBMC, Internet Business Mastery Course, where I teach business people and aspiring online entrepreneurs how to set up their online business the right way. Altogether, 700 candidates have registered for BWC and IBMC. It's now your turn to register. I'm inviting you to register. Go to my website, pauludo.com, and register. Now, back to the episode. We are spoken about Tim Ferriss and James Altuche. What of Sam Ovens and Alex Homozi with estimated net worth of $10 million and $100 million respectively? Sam Ovens started as a failure in New Zealand in 2015 and within 10 years built his wealth to $10 million before moving to Manhattan in the US, New York. Alex too had his own share of failures before he recovered dramatically thanks to his then girlfriend, now wife, Layla. Together, they're going to join the billionaire club. To run off this section, this is what Pat Flynn of the SPI, Smart Passive Income Firm, who was one of the first gurus to jump into podcasting in 20, I mean in 2009, has to say, I'm not exaggerating that podcasting changed everything for my career, my business, and really my life. So much has changed since those early days of podcasting. That is from Pat Flynn. Today, the podcast industry is booming at unprecedented growth rates. Technology innovations are making it super easy to record, edit, host, and publish a show. And brand super fans are increasingly craving the intimacy that pod a podcast audio the experience provides. This is the best time for you to establish your empire. Though it's not a walk through the park, if you follow the steps laid down in this episode, you'll be proud, and you'll be pr a proud owner of a thriving empire in the no, not too distant future. Let's dive in. Start with one book worth reading as these proud members of Book Writing Clinic are doing and will make and it will make all the difference for you and your bank account. You can join my book writing clinic now by reaching out to me via maybe WhatsApp using the number. If you are in Nigeria, just 080-330-75133. Once again, if you are in Nigeria, 080-330-75133. 75133. If you are outside Nigeria, the Nigeria's dialing code is plus 234. So remove the zero. So it will be 
plus 234-803-307-5133. If you are outside Nigeria, the number is WhatsApp number is plus 234-803-307-5133. Who are the authentic gurus? Who are the authentic gurus? As we have seen, the self-help industry dates back to at least 1828. Of course, that is not entirely correct. Because motivating people through oratory and storytelling dates back far longer. Indeed, we can trace it to antiquity. As Atlas Stevenson once alluded, when Cicero turned to the crowds in ancient Rome, people said, great speech. When Demosthenes spoke to the crowds in ancient Greece and people turned to each other, they said, let's march. So self-help dates back at least 2,400 years. However, it really took off with gusto with the advent of radio, TV, and now the internet. Here are the men and women that have made the biggest impacts in the English-speaking world, arranged not in terms of wealth, amassed, or age. Of course, missing are Richard Branson and Oprah Winfrey, two of the biggest motivators of the modern era, because they belong to the billionaires club. Just not in any particular order. You can identify James Allen. I'm talking about the forerunners. James Allen, Sam, Samuel Clayson, Victor Frankl, Napoleon Hill, W. Clement, w. Clement Stone, Dale Carnegie, Ock Mandino, Jim Rohn, Charlie Tremendous Jones, Sig Ziglar, Les Brown, J. Conrad Livingston, Brian Tracy, J. Abraham, Jack Canfield, Victor, Vic, Mark Victor Hansen, Mercia Mer Guida, Pat Misetti, Tony Robbins, Dan Sullivan, Robert Cialdini, Richman Dio Johnson, Alice Mandosian, Tom Hua, Raymond Aaron, Dan Sullivan, Armand Morin, Ariana Huffington, T. Half Acre, Darren Winters, Jeff Walker, Mary, Marian Williamson, Deepak Chopra, Dan Wire, Mike Stewart, the new gurus, Gary Venetu, Gary V, Peter Diamandis, Brendan Butcher, Joe Polish, Tim Ferris, Darren Hardy, Brian Clark, Darren Rouse, Ramit Sethi, Pat Flynn, Maria Folio, John Morrow, Derek Sivas, Ruth Sukup, Michelle Schroeder Gartner, James Shramko, Neil Patel, Ryan Days, Ryan Fishkin, Brian Dean, Hyatt, I mean Michael Hyatt, Jeff Goins, J John Gray, Tracy Lepchuk, Danny Ini, Stu McLaren, Yaro Starak, Dan Kennedy, Matt Besak, Ewen Chia, Brian Kors, Rosalind Gardner, Darren Jenkins, Janet Switzer, Paul O. Mahoney, Patrick Chan, Greg Kayser, David Kanaka, Kavanagh, Sean Casey, Simon Carlson, Dan Kennedy, Pam Hendrickson, and Mike Connicks. It's a very long list. Man, if you can pick three of them and study them very carefully, you will know what they have done. Facts about the personal development industry. Tony Robbins is the richest self-improvement guru with a net worth of estimated at 600 million as at 2019. Even in 2024, he was still worth around 600 million dollars. I'm talking about by Forbes magazine. The best-selling self-improvement book of all time is Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus by John, Dr. John Gray with estimated 550 million copies sold. The best-selling book series is The Chicken Soup for the Soul 
with estimated 500 million copies sold globally. And Jack Canfield and Victor McHansen, the co-authors of the Facebook in the series. Altogether, 1 billion products in the series have been sold. The world's richest author is J.K. Rowling, with estimated net worth of about $1.2 billion, about one billion pounds sterling. The best known online business strategist who does not regard himself as a blogger is Ramit Sethi, with estimated net worth, as I already said, about $25 million. The biggest online trainer is Brendan Burchard, with an estimated net worth of about $22 million. Embarking on personal development as a student. As a student or a learner, you must be clear on what you really want regarding your personal development vis-a-vis -vis what you really need at the higher order of things or at the strategic level. Dan Sullivan, in his The Dan Sullivan Question, identifies the three things people really need in their quest for learning. One, clarity about your future direction. Two, confidence about what you've already achieved. And three, capability to achieve bigger goals. Studies have shown, example, the Hawthorne, the Hawthorne experiment, and many gurus, including the late Jim Rohn, Brian Tracy, Charlie Chamendos Jones, have all emphasized that achievement is 10% physical and 90% mental. That's why gurus emphasize the need for a positive mental attitude. Those who take their game to the highest level focus on uncluttering their minds first by unlearning, relearning, and learning. Stephen Covey, in his seven habits of highly effective people, calls the process sharpening the soul. In reference to Abraham Lincoln's wise saying, Give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I will spend the first four sharpening the axe. So, as a learner, continually sharpen the saw. The saw is yourself and your mind. Today, or life today, requires lifelong learning because the have life of knowledge, that is, the time it takes what you know to become obsolete gets ever shorter, occasioned by unceasing technological change. Stephen Corby used the formula PPC balance and the parable of the golden goose and the golden egg illustrate the points. What PPC balance illustrate is that there must, there must be a delicate balance between production and production capability. Learning increases your production capability. If you seek to increase production without commensurate improvement in production capability, as in the parable of the goose, I mean the golden goose and the golden egg, you are doomed to fail. The key to learning is finding the right teacher. But as the Buddha said, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Does that still hold true in a globalized world? In today's world, where there are thousands of teachers and fake prophets and gurus in every field under the sun, the right teacher will not just magically appear. You must diligently search for one. Irrespective of the area you wish to master, there are excellent teachers. As a guide, you may wish to begin with the list of gurus I gave above. However, sometimes going to the big gurus may be counterproductive as you may not be able to afford them. And their level of knowledge may be too high for you. Look for unheralded gurus who can guide you until you are ready to make the next leap. I, Poludo, can help you.
according to the Drapius model, there are five levels in, sk in skill acquisition as follows. Novice, advanced beginner, competent, proficient, and expert. The conscious competence learning model recognizes four psychological states. One, unconscious incompetence. Two, conscious incompetence. Three, conscious competence. And four, unconscious competence. Coaches and trainers divide most of their offerings into three categories, basic, intermediate, and advanced. Depending on what you need as a learner, as opposed to what you want, and depending on your level of competence and existing skills, a good trainer will guide you accordingly to where to start. Be humble enough to follow the guidance of your coach or teacher or instructor. When I started my banking career, I needed to pass certain professional banking exams to be certified as a banker, I mean a chartered banker, for instance. I wanted to start at the advanced level because I believed with my master's degree, then I didn't need the basic. However, my coach gently advised me to start at the basic level and it paid off. To select a coach, look at his or her pedigree. What has he or she achieved in his field or her field? Is he or her achievement merely a paper, a paper certificate? Is there something to back it up? Example, he has written a book or books in the subject. Look for references, testimonials from ex-students. Check his blog and website to see what he has to offer. Not just LinkedIn, uh, whatever. Use Google search features to get more information about the expert. If you do not do that, you will discover, I mean, if you do that, you will discover who is who? Forget about those tag and style of information you find on LinkedIn where people just praise themselves. The skill you need to quickly hone. The world, especially the world of technology, moves at a breakneck speed. To, so constant learning is the new normal. Ari Pre, I mean P. D. Gaves, in his 1997 best-selling book, the Living Company indicated that the half life of knowledge, that is, the time it takes current knowledge to become obsolete was 12 to 24 months, depending on the industry. <laughs> Today, the half life of knowledge is less than three, three weeks. Today, we are talking about 5G technology that makes things happen instantaneously. Example, Internet of Things. But do you know what Huawei, the Chinese telecom juggernaut, is already working on 6G technology that will render the type of smartphones we use today, museum items? Hybrid cars, driverless cars, artificial intelligence, machine learning, 3D printing, drones, robotics, and all are all becoming the new normal. If you are not getting yourself acquainted with these new technologies and terminologies, my brother and sister, you are going to become a dinosaur. At the personal level, you need quickly to acquire skills in the following areas. Effective communication, including public speaking. I don't speak so well. I joined Toastmasters. I've just learned to understand the basics. Online business, blogging, content marketing, copywriting. SEO, search engine optimization. SEM, search engine marketing. Creative writing. Online training via webinars and podcasts. Coaching, mentoring, HTML, coding, and drone technology. Finally, app design. Of course, you don't need all of them, so you need to learn at least two or three. You must also learn how to use platforms such as YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia, Zoom, Webinar Jam, 
teachable think if it podia pinterest instagram grammarly survey monkey microsoft teams audience management systems such as infusion soft uh, ontraport infusion soft is no more there keep kajabi mailchimp there are so many of them bonza and get ready for even new technologies that are likely to invert the market tomorrow i mentioned bonza it's a nigerian best i mean created by a nigerian based right in atlanta usa bonza we are all bonza knights personal development and financial freedom for experts as i've already indicated experts operate in seven dimensions as author trainer speaker coach consultant seminar leader information marketer as in all spheres of human endeavor the 80 20 rule applies only 20 percent of experts are making the kill while the remaining 80 percent eke out a living on about sixty thousand dollars average salary per annum that is five thousand dollars per month according to indeed.com to join the boats of those making it every expert must jump onto the online business trend it's already crowded out there but as the chinese proverb goes the best time to have started was 20 years ago the next best time is now ramesati city Ramesh city started about 20 years ago and it's worth 25 million today you too can get a piece of the internet cake if you make a push for it this is what james al tuche said most americans have only their salaries to provide their income and oftentimes that is not enough to live the life they want it can feel hopeless for many for many trainers, speakers, coaches, artists, consultants, it can indeed feel hopeless. But it doesn't have to be that way. If the earnings of the gurus have highlighted in this, in this podcast are anything to go by, there's still room for one extra guru, and you could be that person. You could be that one extra guru, but only if you are willing to swallow your pride and embark on learning new skills in the broad field of online business. If you do, you'll attain financial freedom, as Marie Folio, Ruth Sukhoff, and Michelle Scruder, I mean, Michelle Scruder Gartner, to mention just three of the female gurus I learned from. Without going into detail, these are the things you need to learn coaching group group coaching or one-on-one, -on -one, digital marketing, blogging, affiliate marketing, podcasting, YouTubing, creating online courses, and programming to create apps and SaaS, software as a service. My recommended books, blogs, website for students. The books I showcase in this episode are the ones I've read and will help shorten your learning curve. The blogs and websites I've, I highlight are the ones I follow, subscribe to, and buy products. The gurus I've mentioned are the ones I know, follow, and learn from. Obviously, there are thousands I don't know out there. As you diligent, diligently search, you will discover new ones. In addition to the recommended books, blogs, and websites, get my free ebook. How Expert Build Empire, the Poludo Case Study, Part 1. It is a treasure trove of information for beginners. You can get it by asking me via WhatsApp on the number I gave you, 080-330-75133. If you are living outside Nigeria, just add plus 234 and remove the first zero. And you will be able to get it. I will just WhatsApp for you. My last word, carving a piece of the internet or online business cake goes beyond having a website. It goes beyond being an expert on Facebook, Twitter, now called X, 
YouTube, LinkedIn, and other social media platforms. It goes beyond running online training on, on Zoom, Skype, go to meetings, or Microsoft Teams. It goes beyond launching training programs on online platforms such as Teachable, Thinkific, Podia. It goes beyond teaching on Udemy, Allison, Coursera. It goes getting gigs on Fiverr, Guru, and Warrior Forum, and a host of others. It goes beyond uploading a book or two on Amazon. Making a killing online requires a deep or deep understanding of the strategies that enable you to attract and acquire audience, develop evergreen mouthwatering products, develop a game plan that enables you to establish as a brand, market your value proposition, develop marketing and sales strategy, and finally searching your selling, selling, finally selling that brings in the cash through your well-optimized sales funnels. As you can see already, it's much work and it can look very daunting, overwhelming indeed without a coach that understands the entire online ecosystem and how money is made. It's about the ecosystem. It's not about standalone whatever. Like you see small boys, engineers, this engineer, that would tell you. It's an understanding the ecosystem, how money is made online. It's not everybody that is equipped with those skills. Even as an expert, you need an expert coach to show you how online business really works because what you see is not what you get. If Tony Robbins could subject himself to tutelage by his former mentee and student, Brendan Butcher, you have no excuse. You have nothing to lose but a lot to gain cash jingling in your pocket, personal freedom, and more ability to impact the world. If you get the right coach, you will achieve the financial freedom and the type of life others can only dream about. I volunteer to be your coach. It would be an honor to work with you, especially if you are here, right here in Nigeria. My top three recommended books for beginners and advanced beginners. Number one, The Millionaire Messenger by Brendan Burchard. Your Next Five Moves by pa Patrick Bet David. And Turning Pro by Stephen Pressfield. As I said, it's not a walk through the park. To get started, I recommend my two courses for you, Book Writing Clinic, How Experts Build Empire, and Internet Business Mastery Course, IBMC. BWC will help you develop your intellectual properties while IBMC helps you learn digital marketing the right way. There are no shortcuts to freedom. There are no shortcuts to wealth. There are no shortcuts to the billions. You must be willing to pay a price. Go to my website, poludo.com, to get more details about the courses. This is the end of the episode. I believe the episode has given you clarity on how to embark on personal development that will give you financial freedom, how to fortify yourself. You must be intentional in developing yourself. It's not about amassing certifications in IT, HR, uh, this, that, SPH, oh my God. It's about the value you can add to people that make their lives better. Be consistent, persistent, and believe in yourself. Subscribe to the channel if you find it valuable. See you in the next episode.